Russia is important, uh, but they don't have much about it. Um, there was a war there called the Milshin Conflict, and that is also where Sheila was born. They don't have the Milshin Conflict. I believe that would go right there. Uh, but we do have the Charter that came as a result of that. And that's all that we have, is that there, that is a result of, of what happened there. Of course, this will get added to as we go along. This is probably going to be the longest that I spend in the database. So if, you, if you're bored by this, I do apologize. Uh, here's Miyuki. She's 20. Um, she's friends with Shion. Uh, she does create new inventions and, and uses Xion as a guinea pig for them, of course. Uh, as her supervisor, Xion is plagued by her constant expense authorization requests. She needs money! Her full name is Miyuki Itsumi, and in a way she is a woman very true to her ambitions. That kind of implies that Miyuki it Itsumi means something, but hell if I'm going to be able to figure out what that means. I don't speak Japanese. MT field is a part of the temporal lobe. Uh, damage to this area causes motion blindness in, this, in which the eyes can see but cannot track the continuous motion of an object such as a person who is running or a moving car. Said objects in motion appear as a series of flash photography images. It is said that to individuals with this condition, a normal conversation is perceived as a teleconference call with very slow transmission speeds. So every call on Skype. But MWS, short for Multiple Weapons System. So we do finally have a name for it, but no abbreviation. Uh, Miyuki made it for Xion. Um, God, it, there's fighting knuckles, taser rods, and anti-gnosis -no beam launchers. So that definitely implies that gnosis are weak to beam. It also has a built-in shield that utilizes spatial phase shifting, thus providing a high level of defensive ability in addition to the offensive capability. And it also contains a makeshift logic drive, which not only counterbalances, but also enhances physical attacks. In other words, Xion really is weak. This is the only thing that's keeping her in fights. <laughs> thus, even the weakest individuals, Xion, can go head-to-head -head with an armored tactical weapon in, in, in theory. We'll see if Xion holds up that end of the bargain. Not a Raja. Was this brought up at all? This is an avatar of Shiva, represented as a dancing figure with many arms. I don't... Was this brought up at all? There's particular interest that this system is named after Shiva, who is also the god, not goddess. Like, uh, like Final Fantasy would have you believe. Shiva is actually a guy, uh, who is also the god of creation and destruction. Avatar of uh, Shiva means it's one of the... I think it's one of the representations of Shiva. Uh, the system is, itself was designed by Kevin, who we have no information on, because we've already passed N, or sorry, we've already passed K for Kevin. Already on Penfield mapping. A map of the brain which shows the distinct functional regions of the cerebral cortex. They love different parts of the brain in this game. The in-game references to the digitized procedure which links Xion's cerebral regions to their respective regions in Cosmos. In other words, they try to link up the brainwave patterns or, or the brain activity between Xion and Cosmos. Porter, I don't think there's much here. Oh, apparently there is. Um, porters are agent-like AI, so the rabbit is a porter, I would guess. Porter is owned by the government-run UMN management agency usually manage an individual's information, whereas corporations usually have their own proprietary porters manage their company records. Uh, it's any AI that behaves autonomously within the, the UMN network. Mail traffic is regulated by a type of AI called the mail porter. There are as many different functions for portals as there are business models practice on the net, of course. Power loader! Like I said, I apologize if, if you're kind of bored by this, uh, but it is pertinent information and it, it does help enlighten the plot quite a bit. Um, yeah, it's it's those things that we've been... They kind of look like forklifts sometimes to me. <laughs> the power loaders, they're machines. Uh, Procurator is... Also the... Uh, the rabbit, which kind of weird that they would separate procurators and, and porters, but I guess procurator is a kind of job um, that a porter might have. Maybe the procurator is a go-between between, between the person and the porter. I'm a little unsure about that, to be honest with you. There is a lot of stuff on procurators. 
Uh, so it looks like the bunny is actually a procurator. Maybe not a porter? Could be both. It's named Ange. Oh, there we go. Uh, Chion has replaced the procurator named Ange, or maybe Angie, uh, with another which she created, Bunny, which I do not get to name. I don't get to name the bunny, like I thought. Realians, this is important. An artificial human, a wonder of molecular bioengineering. Its biological composition comes in various forms based on need, from carbon-based duplicates of real humans to those based on silicon or liquid metal. They are not made of machine parts. Many of the Rallians on board the Roglinde were made by Vector, and they are hybrid models with a carbon-silicon base. Since the Milshin conflict, the alteration of a Rallian's emotion is, is no longer allowed. The only exceptions are for Rallians in the military or other dangerous op op occupations such as terraforming. Their basic rights equal those of humans and are recognized by law. However, due to the fact that their minds are initialized by it, with a slight bias, all realians tend to display similar personality traits. This bias is applied not only for the purpose of preventing criminal behavior by realians, but also in consideration of humans who may be threatened by their superiority, albeit only in certain specialized skills. Several companies manufacture realians, but Vector makes the basic program uh, of all realians. They make, they make the thought process. This program is essentially a black box, and any modification beyond regular maintenance and adjustments can only be performed by Vector. They're like Apple that way. Uh, real mode, right, where Gnosis is incorporated in a combat simulation. And that was what happened in the Encephalon. Second militia is the capital of the Milshin Autonomous State Government. So, uh, Milshin does work by itself. Its capital is Second Milsha. And it tells you a little bit about the planet, even though it says planet. Uh, the atmosphere generating nanomachines within the oceans are still active. In other words, they have bioengineered some kind of nanomachine to, to replace algae, uh, causing the planet to appear light green from space. Uh, Xion's parents live there. Uh, I don't think I'm spoiling too much to say we will meet. Uh, at least some members of Xi'an's family. Let's hear about Xi'an. Uh, sh wow, she was in the first R&D division at 18. That's, that's quite impressive. Uh, she is chief engineer of the Cosmos Project, General Operations System Research Center, Vector Industries, first R&D division. That is quite a title. Yes, we have already gone over the relationship between her and Alan. Although she appears clumsy at times, she is actually quite athletic. In particular, her high kicks are powerful enough to render a grown man unconscious. She apparently also wields a jujitsu-like technique passed on from her grandfather, but unfortunately the skill does not appear in this episode. In other words, we might see her jujitsu a little later on, but not this time. She's kind of burdened by the, uh, by the giant MWS. Yeah, it's a target drone, something I can smash. Uh, Togashi is 22. Um, oh, so he joined right after the incident in which Cosmos went out of control. They don't really talk about that that, that, that much. His hobby is judo. <laughs> and yes, he enjoys picking on Alan, just like all guys and their friends. And he is in love with Miyuki, maybe. Oh, I smell some kind of triangle here. Type G target drone. Yeah, they're, they're drones that are supposed to be Gnosis. UMN, I bet we have a lot about this. Short for Unis, Unis, I have no idea. The One World Network, the Im an informational network that spans the entire universe. Its non-locality is a large factor in its use in space warps and faster than light FTL communications. Uh, yes, it does literally mean one world. It was used by psychiatrist C.G. Young to describe a state beyond this world where every contradiction in physics, like synchronicity and the EPR paradox, can be explained. In other words, it kind of doesn't obey the laws of physics in this place. Uh, why a psychiatrist came up with something that breaks the laws of physics, I don't know. Young did some crazy stuff, but the Xeno series loves Young. That's the only way I can put it. Uh, a place where every relationship, such as that of the mind to mind or mind to matter, can also make sense. In other words, your mind is separate from the rest of you. 
V4 field is one of the visual fields of the brain. Uh, ah, it can result in color blindness. I have, I have no idea why this is here yet. I don't, I don't remember this happening at all. Uh, then we can learn a little bit about Vector. It's a joint venture, venture by the government and the private sector to manage the UMN. That's why the first division exists. But now it functions as a department within a corporation and has retained its original title of division. After relegating the management of the UMN to the government, the division's primary function had been the development of various computer chips and supporting software for industrial computer AIs. The Cosmos R&D project, to which she and her team are assigned to, sought to develop an emotively controlled OS. Emotively? I don't think that word fits in there, but I could be wrong. Vector is the largest business in the Federation. And, yeah, without it, modern civilization could not exist. It's too big to fail. Uh, yeah, it makes food, makes medicine, software, hardware, communication, weapons. It makes everything. Vector, vector, vector. Its presence dates back to the initial formation of the Federation. It's kind of strange that the Federation of Vector would be formed around the same time, don't you think? Uh, second Division is, is in charge of ships and, and mechs. <laughs> uh, third Division is in charge of realians. Though her motives were unknown to others, Xion apparently requested a reassignment to this division, which is a step down uh, from the first division, of course. Weapons grade realians are realians made for combat. Uh, they're designed to operate in, for long periods of time in the battlefield, and their emotions have been modified so that fear or other feelings detrimental to combat will not surface. The realians in general are designed not to feel fear. The, there are occasional anomalies. The Realian's weapons appear similar to those used by humans. The caliber of their weaponry is comparable to that of a tank-mounted gun, and they fire reinforced ammunition. In other words, they they fire large-ass rifles, but the caliber is huge. I mean, tank-sized what? Tank-sized ammunition? <laughs> like I I don't know if I could even hold like a tank cartridge by myself. That's how big that is. I think they're exaggerating a bit, just to be honest with you. Uh, here's the ship that we are on, the Woglinde. It was the first battleship specifically built to combat Gnosis. That apparently is a big problem, these Gnosis. That's not looking good for us, is it? Due to its status as a test prototype, the Vector logo can be seen in place of the usual Federation Marine Corps insignia. So it is still made by Vector, but it's supposed to be for the government, which is why the Vector logo is still there. It's a thousand meters long. That's insane. Of course, he uses a logic drive. Everything must have a logic drive. First Lieutenant Virgil! This is the one that we kind of know is a DME addict. There we go. He flat fl out said he is a DME addict. Um, he's a brilliant angst pilot, apparently. That, that's all they have to say. First Lieutenant, eggs pilot, DME addict. 400 level of the program. I don't think that, yeah, this, this is nothing that great. 400 level is for combat. So that's the database for now. That, Like I said, that's probably going to be the longest that I'm in there. Um, I, I apologize if you did not like that. Uh, but there was a lot of information that helps me clarify what is actually going on here. Right. Aren't you guys realians? You're dressed like realians. We will protect all the personnel aboard this ship. What is that supposed to mean? Let's just move on. And hopefully I can finally make it to the bridge. Because I have not officially made it to the bridge yet. What's up, realian? Uh-oh. Please go and enjoy the greatness of this craft for yourself. What's in here? Let's just explore every room. That sounds good to, to me. Is there anything? What, what's up, dude? You want something from me? You're truly a trash in a dung hill. I don't think that's what... Yeah, are you saying that I'm trash? That's right, trash. 
Yeah, you don't mean to say jewel? Even Homer sometimes bobs. Wh what? Yeah, he nods. What? I think he tried to call us a diamond in the rough, but it just did not come out right. There's another save point there. I will try not to save, even though I probably should. Let's just move on. Did I talk to you? Yeah, I did. Damn it. No, we're done. We're done. Ugh, God, I hate when I do that. Thank you. We're done here. Now we can head over to... Ah. Don't be snooping around. Oh, sorry. Ah, I need a key in to get in there anyway, huh? He doesn't have the key. Right. Did you leave it inside your quarters? Do you need help? Probably not. So let's just move on once more. We will make it to the bridge, I swear. What's up, dude? Uh, the ultimate anti-gnosis weapon. Apparently that is true. They must be referring to Cosmos. Since it's called the ultimate weapon, it must be really amazing. I bet it's massive and capable of zapping entire hordes of Gnosis, right? No. About the zapping part? What about the zapping part? I want to know about this now. They're not going to tell me. They're not going to tell me at all. Uh, I think I want to actually go... Yeah, there's nothing here. But I do get an email! Let's read it once again. I know it feels like we're spending more time like inside Xion's own mind or whatever than we are uh, spending it with out in the real world. Uh, have I received the MWS? I haven't tried it out? Of course not. Uh, she has a juicy story about Cosmos. Oh. It's probably not about Cosmos. Boris from 2nd Division Small Munitions Groups hasn't learned his lesson yet because he's secretly planning something behind the director's back again. Okay. Boris told me his plan is to develop the ultimate weapon befitting Cosmos. One attack will damage the enemy's entire party. That sounds very useful. Area of effect spells are always nice. All that's left to be done now is a simulation test, so we decided to farm out the calculation process among several computers, once again, using, using the cloud, so to speak. You'd like Cosmos to have this weapon. Yeah, I have to reply if I want it. Um, right, we just need to connect it to my connection gear. Please respond quickly to this email. Um, as long as I'm still on the Woglinde, they actually specify... <laughs> Uh, when I need to, to answer that. Now, if I remember right, I do want to uh, turn that on. I do want to say yes. So, yes. I, I want in. This is actually a pretty good weapon. So I want... <laughs> I, I will spoil that. It's a pretty good weapon. So, spoiler alert, Cosmos will actually be fighting eventually. <laughs> Like they would build up this whole thing with the battle android and then us never use it outside the tutorial. Uh, what? Oh, the the giant yellow thing that we don't have a name for yet? No, they haven't told me. No, yeah, it doesn't know anything about it. The investigation you does... We're a big company, damn it. What's up, Lounger? What are those gnosis things anyway in this area of scientific omnipotence? I never thought we'd be fighting ghosts and monsters. They creep me out. Scientific omnipotence, that's one way to phrase it. It is, it is definitely science above everything else. So you're like a soldier? He's a lieutenant. I'm embarrassed to say I messed up during training. When I found out the hostage was a kid, my emotions took over. That's why you need to be like more like this rallying in the short skirt. Your excessive use of ammo was noted during today's hostage rescue training. Yeah, you got caught up. As a field commander, you must maintain your composure at all times. Otherwise, your actions will revol result in the deaths of those whom you command. You know, I'm sorry. But it was a kid. He had to shoot the kid. Well, not the kid. He had to save the kid. Shoot the suspect or whatever. 
investigating planetary disappearances and recovering flotsam. There's nothing for us Marines to do. You would assume planetary disappearances would be a pretty big deal, but this guy's apparently bored by it. He's finding his, his wreckage. What are you going to do? And I think this is that's pretty much it. Let's just head in here. And hopefully this is the bridge. No. No. Sergeant Swain. Over here. Right here. Yeah, it's Sergeant Swain. Hello, Sergeant Swain. Is something the matter? Got something for you. I'm going to present you with the results of my research. Research? You mean your hobby of investigating all the doors on the ship? Yep, that's it. But I'm not just investigating the doors. Well, you want to know what I'm researching? Yeah, this is kind of important. You know how the nanomachine core is still a black box? He's talking about the, uh, the Reallians, like, control program. Just like when it was first developed, it's a secret. But I hear it has a bug. If used for building and construction, it has a tendency to create useless corridors with locks. I suppose it's no real harm, so it's best kept under wrap. 